good Monday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. Thanks for joining us. Happening in just a couple of hours, we expect to learn more about this man and woman who were accused of kidnapping a toddler over the weekend as his mom pushed him in a stroller. Rebecca Schramm reports the family beyond relieved that he is back home unharmed. This is the case that prompted that alert on our cell phones over the weekend. The family so thankful to the police officers who tracked down the alleged kidnappers. As for how they did that, they're expected to release details in a news conference scheduled for this afternoon. According to Shambly police, the mother was pushing her son in a stroller at about 1230 Saturday afternoon, headed to their apartment on Clareview Drive when a maroon SUV pulled up next to her. A man got out, pointed a gun at her and tried to grab her son. Well, the mother was able to grab the gun. She tried to shoot the man, but the gun did not go off. She struggled with him and ended up grabbing a piece of his shorts and even one of his shoes. During that struggle, a second suspect grabbed the boy and they ended up getting away with the baby. Luckily, someone got the license plate and authorities were able to locate the vehicle in Carroll County. We're learning authorities arrested a man and a woman, Maynard Dario Valera Zuniga and Kristen Nicole Valera Zuniga, both facing kidnapping charges and the man also faces aggravated assault and battery charges. We spoke with the baby's aunt. She says she credits God for the boy's safe return. You don't want to think the worst. We tried our, our best to calm down. There was a point, there was a moment where we did all calm down and we understood that this was something that was completely out of our hands, out of our control. And we left it in God's hands and he was the one who who moved everything, who was able to to just put everything in a perfect time where someone was able to spot him and say and call in and we have him back now. So nearly five hours had passed between the time the baby was kidnapped and the time they found out the baby was OK. By the way, that news conference scheduled for two o'clock this afternoon. We will bring you updates throughout the day. In DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. And we've learned the family expected to be there. Thanks, Rebecca. Stay with CBS 46 for the latest on the story and other breaking news. We'll have you covered on the CBS 46 streaming app. It is free to download in the Apple App Store or on Google Play.